Hi there, Chris here. So we're gonna take a look, a closer look at these Bowley uh, Rotocera locks. And we'll look at the key and we'll take the core out and we'll see about if we can put it in something else. So first off, let's have a good look at the key. <laughs> in the last video, I was like stupid tired when I made it, but I was so excited to make it. Um, I just did, had too many things to do yesterday. So the first thing you see is this little scoop here. And as you rotate around, those are, that's the bidding on the disc. And and it seems a little odd to me. I mean, when you first pick these up and you look at them, you would think maybe the bully should be upright when you put the key in. And it's possible they're, they're cranking these out as fast as they could possibly crank them out and that maybe these are, <laughs> these are reversed. But no matter, they work. So, and you get two. And if you say if you buy this, this padlock, and of course this is the Avis 8345. And if we look in here, the way we do this is the little scoop part goes in first. And you can see you have to push it in because if you don't push it in, nothing happens. So you push it in and then you turn and you'll get, once it's pushed in enough, you get a turn and you continue to, to turn and push and you're gonna hear a little click. It's a very silent click, but, but yes, a little click. And then what you have done is you've engaged, you've set all the levers, levers, ah, discs, pardon me, discs, and still maybe too tired. <laughs> now we're actuating the back of this core and that pops our lock. So we'll do that again real quick. And you notice that it, the act of pushing this in has, has popped this back around. So we pull out and there's the snap coming out. We turn it over till Bully's upside down and we pull it out. So Bully goes in, Bully upside down. Get that first push and you can feel there's a little spring tension in there, just, just barely. And you come around and we're going to continue pushing. Hopefully I get a louder click. There it is. And now we're in the actuating mode and it's opening the lock. So let's take this apart. Mm -hmm. And see if we can stick it in something else. And we'll also look at this core. So what I like about this configuration of it is it's a kick. And what I like about kicks is you can put them in different locks. So we're going to click out, turn it around till Bully's upside down and pull them out. So you can put whatever actuator you want on the back of this. And I've just put some blue here and I've actually put some blue on some of these so I don't get my keys mixed up. So also on the bottom, you can kind of see just a little bit. You see that? And we're gonna go around. Now I'm doing it upside down. Okay, and once the discs are lined up, you can push again, and it actuates the lock. So now we want to pull out, get that click, 
come out till orient this correctly till Bowley's upside down and there you go and that is the key on this one we'll look at the key on the other one hard to tell much difference oh they're keyed the same I think oh are they that I can't remember too many things to remember but anyway, I'm going to hang on to my blue key. So can we, because it's a kick, put it into anything we want? Well, not anything, but what if we decide we want to put it in this Avis Rock? Well, let's see. This has a Schlage in it right now. So we're going to pop that out. I'm going to put this over on this side, so I'm good with that. So that's what we had in here, this 80, 83 series. Can the bully go in there? Well, let's see. So we take our bully, we put in the little carrier, pop this in there, find the screw, Whoops, that's this screw. Get the correct screw. Ooh, nice shot. Put it in there, he said. Right. Now, before I lock it up, I'm going to try it. And this is our blue key, which is the one we're working with. So it goes in, you push slightly, continue around. You're gonna get another push. <laughs> there we go. And are we retracting the ball? We are. Okay, so. I think I have to lock it. This might be the moment of death. All right, so I got my click coming out. Bowie's upside down, and we are in the rock. <laughs> so now we're going to pick it with my ASP cuff knife because it has a flex capacitor power in it. Um, I think, oh, wait a minute. Maybe we're not. We'll have to save that for the cuffs. Anyway, that's the Bowie. The coolness of the bully um, kick. So, and I'm, I'm wondering if you could actually dress down a quick set and put one of these in there. I I looked around. I can't find it um, a quick set for it. But there's our click. Now we're actuating. Now we're open. All right. I hope that was helpful. Okay. Now, come on. Okay, after you've actuated it, you always have to get the pull-out click before you turn anything, and then it comes right out. It's a little fiddly, and it's different from the uh, older bully, which I'll, I'll, I'll line that up with these. Actually, maybe I have it. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I can't get to it, I don't think. No, the camera setup is using one of the drawers that the other bully's in. But I'll show that in another video. So there you go. Very, very cool. Now you have a rock. And this is a bit, and it's closed shackle. This is a bit tougher to get in than the Slow Avis. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, um, certainly ask a question and leave a comment. And we will see you next time.